Be a part of WCTC's real-time talk. Like 1450 WCTC on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at 1450 WCTC. Jersey Central with Burt Barron. Think we could listen to the radio? On the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. It's 809. Welcome to hour number three of Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. It's Burt. Welcome back inside the Forge Jeweler Studios coming up this hour. Our contest chance to win a free one year membership to Retro Fitness. You could use it at, at the four locations, the select locations in North Brunswick, Hillsboro, Manville, or Raritan. Last chance to win happens between now and 8 30. So hang on in there, okay? To the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline we go. Let's welcome in the Vice President of Public Relations of our Somerset Patriots. It'll be baseball season again before you know it, and this is a special season for our team. Uh, Mark Rusinoff is uh, with us this morning here on WCTC. Mark, good morning. Happy New Year. How you doing? Happy New Year, my friend. How you doing? I'm doing well, and uh, I love talking baseball in January with our friends from the Somerset Patriots, and uh, this is a pretty special season that's coming up this spring. Absolutely. It's never too early to talk about baseball. Oh, no, that's right. We're always busy. <laughs> but, yeah, right. it's a very special season. It's actually our 20th, which, if you could believe that, I mean, I remember moving into the ballpark and starting up our first season was on the road and moving into the ballpark. So there's a lot of great history. And going into the 20th season, we have the All-Star Game here on July 12th. So there's a lot of excitement around the team and, and getting the season started. Yeah, talk about this uh, uh, special thing that you're doing here that to celebrate the 20th anniversary. You're going to be counting down the top 20 players in history. Is that uh, going to happen this year? Absolutely. You know, we've had over 500 players that have played for the Patriots over the years. And what we thought would be a fun thing to celebrate with our 20th season and uh, AT&T joined us in doing this where we're going to have a countdown of the top 20 Patriots. It's going to be selected by our fans first. So our fans are actually open to vote now. They're going to be able to vote from now through our Fan Fest, which will be April 8th. And they'll pick the actual 20 guys that we're going to then count down. So our fan voting is a big, very big part of it. They have a, a long list of 60 players that they get to choose uh, that we uh, we kind of Want to make sure we had the best of the best in there. Some tough cuts in there as well, obviously, because yep. there's some guys that are right on the bubble that you're like, well, does this guy make it over this guy? And, then, you know, it's a nice mix of, of guys that were early guys, middle guys, championship guys, all-stars, you know, guys that just had some great years here that had a big impact with the fans and, it just it's a fun it's a fun list to look through when when you when you see the ballot. And there've been a lot of great players over the years. Uh, 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 Five hundred three players that have gone through and have worn that Patriots uniform since nineteen ninety eight, and uh, uh, that's going to be pretty cool for the fans to vote on their their top twenty of all time. And uh, take us back to the beginning, if you would, Mark. There had to be a little I don't know a little trepidation on your part. I mean, this was a startup. This is uh, man, is this thing going to work or isn't it? And you look at where you are now. I mean, uh, total attendance uh, led the league again last year. Uh, best regular season record, back into the playoffs, uh, a handful of championships, and this has worked out really well for the Patriots uh, and heading into their 20th year. The future looks great, too. Absolutely. And, you know, it all starts with we have great ownership and Steve Califer and our general manager and president, Patrick McVeary, has been here since pretty much day one. Our freeholders, everybody that had the vision to put this team in a great market. We have great fan support. And uh, you, you, ha you have all those highlights from last year. It sounds like it's going to be a tough year to top, but I promise you we're going to do some great things in the 20th season. And with the All-Star Game, there's going to be a lot of great things that are going to be going on that's just going to make the fans realize that, you know, we're always looking to find new things, to always grow. You know, we we found that we, we you know, always want to be doing things that keep us fresh, that make sure that people understand that it's not just the same thing every time they come here and, and having the 20th season and all these great things that we're going to be doing just kind of reinvigorates the whole experience and things that we want to do. Yeah. And uh, again, it, it's a, it's great support. It's, it's great leadership um, from the County and, and of course, Steve and Patrick and, and just a great staff that's been here for a long time. And we, we really have a lot of people that have been here for 20 years, 15 years, 10 years, you know, some of the, even the newer guys that have, I've been coming in. We just have people that really care about providing the best customer service and making sure that our fans have a great time when they're here to be part of the community. And, and those are all things that are extremely important and why we continue to grow leading the league in attendance 20 years in is something that's very special. A lot of teams have a lot of trouble 
um, you know, after the first few years, and, and here we are still um, averaging 52, 5,300 fans a game and, and drawing over 370,000 fans, which is amazing. It's a, it's a wonderful that. thing. Yeah, I've been, I've been coming to the games uh, since season number one, and it's always people, Mark, that are coming there for the first time that just have a wonderful time, or you have the people that come season after season that have the season tickets and have been there from the beginning, and it, it's such a great thing to just see the, you know, the families and the fans keep coming back year after year. You know me, I never miss a Wednesday home game with the creme brulee in the press box, of course, and that's kind of become the running joke over the course of the season. But, yeah, uh, it's kind of <laughs> odd. You always seem to find a way to show up. You know, it, it could be the fourth <laughs> inning. It could be the fifth inning when we're putting the desserts out. For some reason, it's like, wait a minute. I don't know. Bird comes in with the Patriot hat, and he's like, I'm, I'm the big fan here. The foam finger, you're ready to go. I don't know why. Foam finger, you point. It's point just to the, the creme brulee. It's just, I don't know, but it's just a coincidence that Wednesday nights I'm so out weird. doing other events, and I say, let me stop and see a little bit of the baseball game before I go home. But it's got to become a running joke uh, of the recent seasons. But I just love there being two Mark. And uh, just the way you've welcomed WCTC. And we've worked together over the years since day one as well. And it, it's a wonderful partnership that the two of us, uh, our, our businesses have had as well. Absolutely. No, WCTC was probably our first partner when we started. We did all of our games on the road. And uh, you guys joined us very early on without knowing what was going to even happen with this team you saw you know way back then that this was going to be something that's very special and you've been a great partner from from day one and going 20 years in that's that's something that um we're very proud of and very uh very happy to have had you guys on all, this whole time yeah it's something we appreciate as well and we've seen franchises you know kind of come and go in jersey over the years but the, the somerset patriots uh, one of the real charter teams of the atlantic league and, and going strong in the future looks looks uh, terrific uh, January 17th, uh, is that the date, Mark, uh, that you want the uh, ticket buyers and the fans uh, to know about? That's an important day, right? Absolutely. Our tickets are going on sale on Tuesday. We have a brand-new ticket system, a whole new process. We've encouraged fans, if they haven't already done so, to make sure that they sign up for uh, ticket accounts because it's going to help them be able to manage their accounts online. Um, by going to our website, they'll be able to um, do a lot more with their tickets and being able to even do some great things that they're talking about where you'll be able to take your account. You can email tickets, mobile tickets, all those things that, you know, with technology nowadays, you don't even have to, you know, come to the box office and, and buy the tickets. You could have them just sitting in your house and have them printed or sent to your phone or whatever you want to do. It's It's a lot more convenient, and we're really trying to move into that direction to make sure that we're, you know, making sure that the fan process and buying tickets is very easy. And, again, they go on sale on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Uh, you could stop by the ballpark. You could go on your phone. You could call us, however um, is easiest. And we just want to make sure that uh, fans know opening day, April 21st, the Friday night with fireworks, and it's going to start a, a great season. And the first time you'll be able to get those tickets is uh, this Tuesday. Look forward to it. SomersetPatriots.com, of course, for all the information. And uh, Fan Fest is coming up on, on April 8th, and then uh, we're going to be starting the uh, historic 20th season here uh, for the Somerset Patriots. Uh, so we're looking for that. Of course, you can catch the games right here as well on WCTC. Mark Russinoff, uh, Vice President, Public Relations of the Patriots, thank you. I will see you at the ballpark this year. Uh, highlight Wednesdays uh, for me to come on by and say hello, okay? Absolutely. I'm going to send you a calendar with all the Wednesdays marked <laughs> off. Right? I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good weekend. We'll talk to you, okay? You too, my friend. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Uh, Mark Russinoff, my guest on the Jersey 